How to implement and start using strips on your Wix website. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you're all doing great. In this video I will take you through the steps that are needed, how you can customize, how you can actually start using strips within your Wix website. So I'll be showing you around with this website that I use for these tutorials. It's not really going to be looking at the best website, but you know, I'm just testing things out with it. But in this video, you are going to learn exactly how to use strips to basically allow you to for more customization options and at the same time be more organized with your space in uh, your Wix website. So go ahead, open up your Wix editor. So just go to website, edit site. And this is obviously going to take us to the Wix website editor uh, where we can just go ahead and adjust a few things. So my home page is going to be very cramped. So I will try to uh, create a new page and work from there, show you exactly what we can do with these uh, strips. So yeah, I know the website does not look good. I'm not really trying to make it look good. It's just, you know, for these types of videos. But uh, let me just go ahead and create a new page and get back to you. Okay, so I've just created this page, empty page. So a lot of people, what they do basically uh, when they want to add a few things like images or whatever, they would want to just go to add elements. And then from here, they can just go to image, for example, or let's just do text because it's easier. Uh, and they would want to just click on it. And, you know, they have this uh, entire section to work with. And it's just going to be a little tricky. And, you know, they're only going to be using this sort of stuff. However, try to start using strips instead of this it's just going to make your life a lot easier and at the same time it's going to really affect the mobile view a lot better than you would think so let's just go back now and let's just remove this so how do we actually go ahead and start using strips it's very simple we just go ahead and uh click on add elements on the top left and then here you would find a whole section for just strips so we can actually just go ahead to this section and we can just get the blank one. Forget about the customization. We will talk about it. You can just always get to the blank one and start from there and we can just customize it to our liking. But we can just go ahead and actually get it. And you can see now we have this entire strip to work with. So if you want to add images to it, if you want to add text to it, if you want to um, make it multiple columns, all of those options are going to be available for you uh, and you can do so uh, very easily as well so here we can now see uh we have some options on the top here so we can just go ahead and start with the left to the right so we can click on change background here and, and then here we have three different options either a color so we can just pick a color or a gradient and um whether it's going to be radial or linear uh, and then we have image so we can actually choose an image or video so if we wanted to do color, for example, we can just go ahead and select a solid color, which is going to be like orange, yellow, whatever it may be. Or we can just go to gradient or even fluid gradient, which is going to be this one right here, which is going to even have more than just uh, two to three colors. But if you want to just use the gradient, you can also just, you know, change the angle of it. You can change the colors. So we can just do this one. And the other side of the spectrum, we could just make it orange or, so, or something like that. Uh, and it's just going to work well with what we have. Let me just exit out of the color picker and we can just, you know, adjust it to our liking. Or we can use the gradient, which is going to be the fluid one, where we can set up more than just one uh, or two. We can actually add four or more if you want to add one and just, you know, select an area. And you can just go ahead and start changing those colors to your liking. So we can just go ahead and do that. For example, we can just adjust it to our liking. Basically, we can make this a little bit darker. And then we have this as, I don't know, orange or something. Obviously, here is not really looking the best. If we switch those two, maybe it's going to even. Okay, it doesn't really matter, but you get the idea. You can just adjust it to your liking. So this is option one, which is colors. But if you want, you can also select an image. So you can just go to image. Uh, you have some images here to choose from, or you can upload from your own if you would like. It's completely up to you, but I'm just going to leave it as it is. 
Now you can actually just add elements to the strip by just going to add element. You can go to, uh, for example, text. And you can just go ahead and add a, add a heading to the actual strip. Uh, what you would want to do uh, is if I can just highlight it properly. Hold on. So yeah, uh, once you actually get a hold of an element, you can either attach it to the actual section. Uh, and if you do that, it's just going to reflect uh, on the settings that are applied to the section. But if you want edit to be affected with the actual strip, you would want to highlight over here, as you can see, attach to strip, let it go, and it's going to be attached to it. You can go ahead and edit the text to your liking if you want it to be um, centralized and all of those things. It's completely up to you. But let's do more stuff about the actual strip itself. We can do background scroll effects. So if you want to add some effects to it, so like fade in, you can also add that. So you can actually see, well, there's nothing here, but it's going to actually have an effect of scrolling. So you can actually do that if you would like. I'm just going to turn it off. Uh, you can also do fade in or fade out. It's completely up to you, but I'm just going to leave it as none. And then we can do the layout section. Here we can actually change it whether it's going to align uh, the columns or contents from the left, from the right, or from center. And if you want to add columns, you can simply do so from here. And you can see now we have two different columns. Uh, and if you want, we can just go ahead to layout again. And we can just change the aspect whether it's going to be left, right, and center. This is basically where you would want to add the content within this strip. Uh, and in here, we can actually click on manage columns. We can add more than just two columns. We can add another one. And I believe it's up to five. So we can actually go ahead and add five different columns, which is great. So you can add an image here, image here, image here, and so on. So you get the idea. Uh, so I'm just going to make it, uh, I'm just going to remove most of them. I'm just going to, no, actually, I'm just going to add one more. There you go. Now we have two different columns, as you can see, uh, we can actually adjust, uh, each one accordingly, uh, and change the size of it. Uh, if we go to manage column. We can move them from the left to the right. We can also duplicate them or delete them like we said. Uh, that uh, Here is going to be the stretch. So we can actually go ahead and see whether it's going to be the, the stretch is going to be page or screen. So we can change it so that it is page or screen. I'm just going to leave it as it is. If, if you do have it on screen, you can also change the margin. So that's going to also be completely up to you. Now you also have one more option, which is going to be uh, shape dividers, which is going to be on the top or bottom. It depends on what you want it to be. Uh, if you actually want to access this option, however, you cannot have more than just one column. So you would want to remove it. So we can just go to uh, manage columns and we can just remove it. I believe if we go to layout, we can also change the aspect and everything, but we want to actually remove it. So, uh, and I don't think I already talked about this. So yeah, if you click on strip layout, you can actually change the size of each one. Uh, and not only that, but we can also change the spacing between them. So you can see we have space between each column, if you would like, and also the padding, we can play around with the padding of it. But to remove a strip, again, you would want to click on it, click on manage columns, and you would want to remove a column. And now we have this single single strip without any columns, we can just click on shape dividers. And in here, we can just find plenty of strips, we can either insert it to the bottom or top. And it's going to look a little something like this, where we can just also customize it, how it's going to look like so we can actually change the color of it. Uh, and we can also change the height, the horizontal offset, which is going to show more or less uh, of these shapes and a number of repeats. I mean, this is the one that is actually going to show us how many times it's going to be repeated. This is the horizontal offset. Uh, or if you want to flip it, you can also do so. But I'm just going to again turn it off. Uh, so none. 
And yeah, this is pretty much how it's going to work. So you have your strip here. What you would want to do, generally speaking, is that you would want to add a column, for example, go to layout, change uh, change the aspect of the columns. You would want to add a few elements here. So we can just click on add elements, image on one side. So we can just upload an image, upload from computer. Let me just upload any random image that I can find. Actually, I'm just going to use this. So I'm just going to click on add page and we can just uh, change, move this. And uh, when it says attached to column, just make sure the size is proper. Otherwise, it's going to tell you that, you know, it's offset. So you would want to obviously make it smaller, I believe if we. Yeah, there you go. We can just go ahead and insert this right here. And on this column we can just go ahead and add another element which is going to be something like text or whatever it may be maybe a button and so on it's going to work like that instead of you know having one empty space you can actually just divide them all between the columns and strip so with that being said this is pretty much how to use strips with the wix i hope that you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching